New at four, mystery in the sky. An American Airlines pilot had a close call over the weekend, and even now, it's still not clear what exactly it was. Fox 46 chief transportation correspondent Hawker Vanguard is live at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. So the question everyone is asking, Hawker, was this a UFO? Yeah, Paige, by definition, this was an unidentified flying object. But if I were you, wouldn't be calling Mulder or Scully uh, at this point. But American Airlines Flight 2292 was uh, going to be flying over the Gallup area uh, in New Mexico. That's southeast of the Gallup. Have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that I hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. Uh, well, it sounds like we kind of got cut off there, but they were talking to Albuquerque Air Traffic Control at the time. They were uh, just southeast of Gallup, New Mexico. That pilot you heard there was asking air traffic control if they had any other objects on their radar screen there. Uh, that was the mention of targets you heard. So if we go to a map, that location southeast of Gallup would be important because located just a short distance from there is Launch Complex 96 at Fort Wingate. That's part of the White Sands Missile Range run by the military. They test single and double stage missiles there uh, that cruise at very high altitudes, Page. And we heard the pilots describe what it was as long and cylindrical, which sounds like what you just said. They potentially launched there at least. I know you made some calls today. Did you hear anything back? The Department of Defense hasn't gotten back to me yet, so nothing official, but I did my own poking around and I found this. I went to skyvector.com. That's a website that pilots use for flight planning purposes. And if you look over the Gallup and Fort Wingate area today, you can see that red circle, which denotes a TFR or temporary flight restriction. It goes from the surface to 11,000 feet. That means pilots should not pass through that area. In fact, this is labeled as a flight hazard page.